Hey guys, this is Church of Caboose, and in today's ever semi regular Destiny 2 contents, we are talking about the Gambit's quest to get that emblem called the Team Player that is required for the Collections badge. It is a part of the Savior title, so you can get that uh, seal done and you can be the Savior of Destiny or. Or, or some shit like that. But anyways, we're just going to give you some hints about uh, things you can do in order to make the grind for this a little, a little bit more bearable. It was miserable. I did not have a whole lot of fun playing Gambit, which is probably per usual for most people's Gambit experience. So, quick side note, Bungie, um, uh, uh, fix Gambit! I don't know how, but maybe stop having all your goddamn quests having you do things like kill invaders or invasion kills. People stop trying to hog all the heavy and sitting by invasion portals, but uh, I'm off my soapbox now. Okay, so what you have to do in order to get this whole quest thing done is you have to reach the rank of Fabled and Infamy, which is the Gambit's rank. You have to get a ton of enemies killed. I'm not sure how many. It's just a percentage-based thing, and you have to defeat at least 100 uh, g opposing guardians while playing uh, Gambit and if you do it in streaks you get more progress or at least that's been the theory the reason I say at least a hundred kills is because even at my rank of a hundred plus in the season rank so I have all those buffs and little quest multiplier progress booster thingy bobbers it was at only 1% per kill so it was at least 100 kills in order to finish this quest now if you get like lots of kills and you don't die throughout the match in theory you would get to this whole thing done faster so if that works really well for you guys let me know i happen to not be amazing at gambit or care well enough to just not ever die and so i can't say i already noticed lots of progress but I did notice there was at least a little bit more progress when I would kill guardians and not die. So I suppose tip number one is be season rank 100 and don't die when playing gambits and getting invader kills. And you will get this done way faster than I was able to get this quest done. And uh, the weapons that you should probably be using are Truth. Truth is an exotic rocket launcher. It goes in your heavy slot. And it tracks enemies and explodes based on proximity. To my knowledge. It is the only rocket launcher in Destiny 2 that based, ex explodes based on proximity. It's called horseshoes and hand grenades. It's a common and loved perk in Destiny 1, but I believe Truth is the only weapon to have this in Destiny 2. Some other good heavies to run with would be the Hammerhead. It is a legendary machine gun you can get from a forge. So if you do not have this machine gun, you go to A to 1, grab the machine gun frame, complete the frame, and you have a Hammerhead. And uh, that's, there's that. You can also use Jotun. Aaron Till is uh, crummy, but you know, it works. And really what you want to be considering when you pick your weapon loadout specifically for killing guardians is you want stuff that will kill quickly. So things like heavy weapons and that have some range because a lot of these gambit maps tend to be long range people are running lots of wish enders and other longer range weapons so if you're having to run a long distance across the map it can be fairly challenging to get close enough to do much damage if you're running things like say only shotguns now if while you are working on this quest it wouldn't be the worst idea to work on getting that python the season 9 ritual weapon for gambits done just because it is a really really good pve shotgun i happen to really like it for pvp but that seems to be more of a personal preference as opposed to a common uh, philosophy so th i would consider working on python at the same time the reason you would want to get all this stuff done is mostly if you're trying to get that new title otherwise not a whole lot of a point in doing it the emblem only tracks your win streak in gambit so unless you got some crazy win streak of, I don't know how many, like 10 or 20 or 100, it's really not that flashy to show. It doesn't look super cool, but, you know, I was mostly getting it because I want the title. All right, guys, I hope this video helped y'all out. Make sure you're keeping in mind for the Fabled rank. 
that it is easier this week, the week of January 7th, to hit Fabled. It's something like 5,000 points, 8,000, I don't know, somewhere in there. You might have to Google it. But uh, Infamy is overflowing this week, so bounties increased uh, XP for your season rank, as well as completing matches gives you more XP for your season rank. And you will get to Fabled a lot faster than you would other weeks, because unlike uh, like Crucible, Fabled is kind of towards the end. So there's the emblem. There you go. Here's a quick look at it. All right. I hope this video helped you all out. If it did, I would love it if you liked the video. If you want to see more content from this guy, I am trying to find ways of doing funnier videos and uh, less just pure information and tips and tricks. So if you would like to be a part of that and you think you're a rather funny character, or at least we could have fun together, let me know. We can play on Xbox and you can join my Discord server for call church and friends and we can share ideas and you know just plan out some stuff and have some fun i am church of caboose have a great week and happy grinding y'all